Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and yes, I did purchase a Line 6 HX Stomp XL. This wouldn't be news to you if you saw the video about the Black Friday sales. I showed you what I paid for this thing brand new. It was $637. Simply too good of a deal to pass up, so to speak. And if you were listening to the Audio Mall podcast, we were talking about potential backups in case something went down with the Quad Cortex, like it did at the last gig. And well, it made the decision a little bit easier. So I'm going to explain to you kind of my thought process here. There are two key parts to this story. The first is, after we filmed that audio Mall podcast last week, I took the Quad Cortex off my board because I wanted to see just a few days without having any sort of modeler or kind of brain device and how I would feel just playing guitar the way I've always played guitar. A few drive pedals in front and then the two Strymon pedals through the effects loop. And I have to say, I didn't really miss the Quad Cortex that much. And that's not an insult on the Quad Cortex, but something about the simplicity of just a few pedals, amp, done, no digital anything. It was really appealing, I realize, that the Strymons are, but they're so analog sounding, I don't even consider them as such. And they're bulletproof, but that's neither here nor there. The second key turning point here was... We got offered a residency to play, and the venue in which we got offered to do this is very small. And by small, I mean the performers area is very small. And they want me to be able to run through the PA system. And basically, I'm only going to have enough room for a tiny little pedal board. And, you know, people are going to be walking kind of back and forth, and my little amp behind me, and one guitar. So my train of thought was, do I really want the Quad Cortex kind of exposed like that first of all because if somebody you know damages that or spills a beer on that while they're passing by that is that's oh man i i don't i don't want to deal with that the second part of that was if i'm going to be running the pa anyway i can not worry about something being as expensive or if something goes wrong with the hx stop xl for example uh, that's a really easy replacement whereas with the neural it's it's a lot harder and the second part of the factor was just i'm going to be honest with you guys i'm selling a bunch of stuff i'm downsizing because i didn't miss you know the quad cortex that much the few days that i was going and actually really playing guitar not making stuff for youtube not going out to perform just actually playing the damn instrument like you know what we're supposed to be doing i really didn't miss it that much and i just sold the gold top gibson es les paul then talking to the guy he's super happy with that And yeah, so I ended up getting out of it in a rare instance, getting my money back for what I paid for the Quad Cortex. And I I don't want to say anything bad about the company, but I mean, given the circumstances I'm going to be in, this seems like a way for me to not only put money back into my pocket and into the channel and into the business so that I can reinvest so I can keep making money. And yeah, it was just one of those things where it seemed like a no-brainer. Now, the one thing that I have to say, my first impressions and a reminder about the Stomps and the Stomp series in general, this isn't too different than the regular Stomp that I had before I had the Quad Cortex. Running the effects loop with the other Strymon pedals with it, it doesn't play in the nicest way compared to the Quad Cortex where you had the two dedicated effects loops. Very, very nice touch, I have to say, by Neural, but I mean... I I just don't see myself using this other than for YouTube because it's easy to do the demos like this and then for like a fly rig on the go and not having to worry if something bad does happen to it. And I realize that there may be some people who click this video expecting me to be talking more about the specifics of the HX Stomp XL. I'm going to be doing an actual video on that. This is just kind of my explanation to my regular viewers, people who do follow the channel, of my thought process and the decisions that I make and why I make them. Because after all, this is my channel. My core audience is always going to be the most important to me. So, I mean, it is what it is. Next week, we'll have, like I said, the full video on the Stomp XL. However, tomorrow, there is no live stream because it's the Thanksgiving Day. I'm going to be spending the day with my kid, my dog, my wife, and the rabbit. So I I really just need the time to kind of unwind here. The holidays are always a stressful time of year, as always. Friday, we have the Sire guitar coming in, but that video won't come up until Saturday because I need time to actually film that unboxing and inspection of the Sire Larry Carlton. You'll find out on Saturday. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If I don't talk to you tomorrow, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. You know, be well. Hope you're all safe. Take care of yourselves.